All right, YouTube, this is my third time trying to make this video. Uh, the first time I, I made the entire video and I was watching the, the playback of it and I saw that there was um, a piece of mail that had fallen off the couch when I sat down and it had our address on it. And if you're my age, you know that you spent your entire childhood hearing two things. Don't give your address away on the internet and don't get into cars with strangers. And now there's literally an app where you give your address away on the planet and get into cars with strangers. Uh, but we're not talking about that. The second video, I said, okay, I'm gonna remake this video so that I, um, I'm not broadcasting my address to all these different people in uh, internet land. And my wife came out and had to tell me something about her, about my father-in-law. And uh, I won't get into that in the video, but um, it interrupted me again. So I'm hoping that I can get through this video with, with no further interruptions. Um, it's, uh, <laughs> it's been a weird afternoon, I guess. But anyway, I'm not going to ramble about this because God knows I'm probably going to get interrupted again. I'm going to turn you guys around. And we're going to continue with the self-sufficient toolkit. Today's topic for the self-sufficient toolkit, or this afternoon's topic, is going to be chisels. There's so many different chisels you can get. So many different types of chisels. There's woodworking chisels, there's high-end joinery chisels, there's chisels for lathes, there's chisels for timber framing, there's chisels for metalworking, all sorts of different things. What I have found, and I, and I have a bunch of chisels, I have a big set of woodworking ones in the basement for all of the different joinery that I do and things like that. But what I have found I'm using the most are going to be these here, these, these chisels that I've got. So this is going to be one of those videos where I say you should probably get the brand name uh, for at least one of, for at least this, this top set here that you're looking at. This is Buck Brothers. Buck Brothers Chisels. See that? Buck Brothers. They sell them at Home Depot. They're made about 20 minutes up the road from me in Millville, Mass. And as far as carpentry, finished carpentry, and basic woodworking, which is the kind of stuff you're going to want to be able to do with your self-sufficient toolkit, Town's Heavy Rescue just went by. They're probably doing some kind of training. And now I'm noticing there's somebody sitting up in the parking lot. But I digress. I digress. As far as the self-sufficient toolkit, you're going to want to be able to do basic woodworking. You're going to want to be able to do basic carpentry, both framing and finished carpentry. So what I would recommend, they sell these sets at... Home Depot, they're Buck Brothers. They come, there's my finger, there's my finger. They come with an inch, a three quarter inch, and a half inch chisel. These are the chisels that you're gonna keep sharp. These are the chisels that you're gonna be cutting the mortises in, stri for strike plates for doors, these are the chisels that you're gonna be using to cut your basic woodworking joints things like that, these are the ones that you're going to keep sharp. These are not the ones that you're going to open paint cans with, or cut nails, or use as pry bars, or, 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 which we're going to get into. These are at Home Depot. I think the whole, I think all three of them are 25, 20 bucks, 25 bucks, something like that. You're also going to want, I think that guy up at the parking lot is smoking weed. Um, you are also going to want a beater chisel. Now this came in a three chisel set like this from Walmart. I think it was like 10, 15 bucks. It's just a no name chisel. And this was actually, this was the same size as that originally. And this is my rough use chisel. It's a pry bar. I use it to 
break up tile when I'm doing remodeling. I use it to cut finish nails behind baseboard. I use it to, when I'm doing sheathing on a tool shed, I'll use this to knock off edges that, are, you know, like a, a piece of smart siding that's sticking up. It's a rough use beater chisel. And you want to have one of these because these nice ones are the ones that you're going to be using for chisel tasks, woodworking chisel tasks, finished carpentry chisel tasks. This is a good beater. You want it because it's going to be something that you can obviously keep sharp. I just sharpen this with a belt grinder and I put an edge on it. I keep it sharp enough that I can use it as one of these because it's going to be in my tool bags. And if I chip up the edge, breaking a nail off or, or using it as a pry bar or something to that effect, I just hit it with a, a, the belt grinder again. It's really important that you have a specific chisel that you can use for rough work, for beater tasks, because you want these to be able to do the finer work. And what I'm gonna say is they make all sorts of chisels with all sorts of handles. You want, for your self-sufficient toolkit, you want one of these handles. It's, it's, it's got the metal striking cap on the back so you can hit it with your hammer. It's got this nice, whatever this is, it's uh, silicone, I think hard silicone the same way a craftsman screwdriver is and you can you can use these you can use these as rough chisels too i actually have uh, another one of these um inch ones that i keep in my tool bags now because that just got so worn out as as a beater um you do want a beater and you can buy an extra one of these buck brothers as a beater you want these to be sharp. You want to learn how to sharpen them, and we'll probably go over that in one of the video in another video. And moving on from the woodworking chisels and the carpentry chisels, you're gonna want one of these. This is a cold chisel. See how that's a blunted edge? It's not. That's not gonna cut me. You're gonna use this, especially. If you're in an area like I am where there's a lot of salt on the roads in the winter and you're doing work on your vehicles, all of that salt means corrosion and rust. And all that corrosion and rust means frozen parts. You're gonna need to break those frozen parts off so that you can tap and drill out the holes where the bolts go and completely redo stuff. This is your friend for that. This and a good solid ball peen hammer. You can really move material and you can really break off bolts. Use it to, I used it uh, actually, I mean, there's, there's a million different ways you're gonna find to use this. Any kind of metal working, any kind of rough, rough use. Like if this is a beater chisel, this is a super beater chisel. So, I would recommend getting a set of the Buck Brothers like that for about 25 bucks. The set of these is probably 10 bucks, 15 bucks. Again, all you'll need is one. I, I used the, uh, the inch one for a long time because I was doing uh, car mostly framing carpentry and sheathing for the tool sheds. So, I found the inch was the most useful, but keep ones that you have very sharp, keep one to beat on, and keep one for when you really, really gotta beat on something. So I think we've actually made it through this video, which um, I'm quite impressed by. <laughs> so before I get interrupted, I'm going to say I hope wherever you are, you're comfortable and that God is with you. Thank you.